So let me know if your weekends go by as fast as mine. So when you got a big job like this in your mind and you know you're coming into it on a Monday morning, tell me, do you guys think about your job when you're off? Because I know I think about it, but I try not to because I want to keep my mind on what I'm doing out of work. So we got a big one here today. I don't know about you guys, but I've been getting a lot of storm damage and trees are coming down for the last couple of storms we had. So we got a big one here and uh, it's a roof and I'm definitely using my stands that I bought for both sides. And these are the adjustable ones that I was showing you guys last time. Definitely a good stand because these here move. So I can lift it up higher and I can set it down lower and I can attach these together on both sides. So I still haven't got the other set to link them together, but luckily I'm not doing that big of a roof here. So we're gonna shoot this job and uh, this is PW7, and you guys know how you can get slow, snow blinded with that white. And uh, we'll see what we do on this white one here. So stay tuned. All right, so we're getting ready to seal this one. And boy, I wish I had some single stage right now. I could hit this thing with two coats, put a little clear in it like I used to back when I was using the old Uno and Solo from uh, BASF back in the day when I first started out in this business. We had the Dymont system and we had the Solo and the Uno system and we could mix single stage or base coat. But now with this water base, we don't have that capabilities right now at this place. So boy, I could fly through this job if I had that old school single stage right now. And I know a lot of you guys are still uh, using some of the single stages. I'd hit this thing with two coats of single stage blend back into it on my blends with the clear and be done with it so i could finish this job up in about 20 minutes tops where this will take me around about an hour to get it all said and done so we're going to seal it and we'll move on to the uh, base coat To the base now and when i'm doing my solids i use a one four head especially on the whites to give me more coverage and to put more down to uh, get this thing painted quicker so let's start basing it out see I'm panel painting this door here I got this color dialed in pretty good this PW7 so I can shoot this one panel paint it and we'll be good to go on it save the emblem on the door and that way we don't have to buy that emblem so I got this color dialed in pretty good and uh, we'll put this on with another two coats and we'll hit it with the clear so stay tuned for that one All right guys, so you've seen the thumbnail and I'm using that Techna clear coat gun, the gold one. And that's got the 1.3 with the TE25 air cap. And that's my go-to gun for these bigger jobs like this, especially a roof, because you can move through that job real quick, a lot quicker than the DV1. So I like my DV1 for certain jobs, but I also like having other guns when I want to move through something quicker. 
and this is my go-to gun for these big jobs and especially white because you don't have to really worry about overlapping as much because this thing hoses it on real fast and nice so we put two coats of the cc 200 on this one and i went with one step slower on the reducer that way it laid out nice on the roof i used the us5 with the uh90 hardener and uh just put it on nice and wet that way it flowed out nice on that roof the color looks good the clear looks good laid out nice came out clean and uh definitely worth having multiple guns to do each job you need to uh get it done faster or better so i like having different guns for each job so hope you guys like this one definitely a great gun that uh Techno clear coat gun i use it when it's i got a job like this that i just want to get it done so Hope you guys liked it and see you next time.